Hallelujah. We are going to go straight to the second shot for tonight. And I'm glad to have God's servant in our midst. We have been <laughs> friends for many, many years. Uh, he was also on my wedding train. So uh, families are together. It's amazing how God weaves every generation. Um, I'm glad to have um, Pastor Balaji Dowie in the house. Glory to God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The hallelujah can be louder and better. Praise the Lord. <laughs> just before we have our set, just to let you know, I'm going to keep you waiting for standing for five minutes. And um, we're going to have our seat. Please, the timer, can you help me so that... Okay, I was looking this way so I can see it. Please, before we have our seat, I want us to particularly, particularly, particularly honor Pastor Yemi and Pastor Bimbo. Yeah. But so that you're not in any doubt at all, I love Pastor Bimbo more than yet, Pastor Yemi any time any day, anywhere. I'm telling you, I do. I do. You know, Pastor, oh my God, Pastor Bimbo is an angel. I'm telling you, she is an angel. Amen. You know, anytime, so I tell you something, anytime you want to feel love, you feel compassion, think of Pastor Bimbo. Anytime you want to solve problems, think of Pastor Yemi. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so that's the way I think about the two of them, you know. Anytime I just want fellowship, I want someone like the Holy Spirit, I think of Pastor Bimbo. You know, anytime I want something like the anointing that destroys the yoke, I think of Pastor Yemi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. I want to also appreciate all the ministers here. Oh, Prophet Wale Akilaja, also by a very long time. Prophet Wale, thank you. Praise God. And all of the pastors, you know, pastors, it's nice to see you also. And of course, the leaders and the pastors in Global Impact Church. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of us have been here for a long time. Some of us, some, a lot of you met us here. Praise God. I was here at the inauguration of this church. I was there in uh, Babs. I didn't know. Our, no, no, no. Favorites. Is it favorite? Yeah, it's an issue favorite. Then we moved to Babs Animation 277. To show how long I've been around, 277, <laughs> Babs Animashaw, you know, and, um, you know, one thing you can't take away from Pastor Yemi is the focus. You can't take it away from him. You can't take it away from him. Pastor Yemi is extremely focused, you know, extremely, extremely focused, dedicated to his course. He's the only person that I know was a student pastor and had first class. You know, how do you do that kind of thing? You know, what, when, so when I was in school... I had an extra, I had an extra semester, so I told him, I said, I have this course. I can say, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You know, you did, at least you did well in the fellowship side. This one is the payment for that. And I said, it's not your fault because you did well in every side. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're going to pray in the Holy Spirit for a little, just five minutes, and we would move into the service today. Well, um, there's a book I have, Next Level Prayers. It's a, you know, it's a book, How to Pray and Get Results. Hallelujah. And a lot of the teaching was inspired when I came here two years ago. Surprisingly, actually, was inspired from when I came here two years ago. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. At least I've been delivered from Pastor Yemi. He's been always asking me to write something. Now I've written something. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we go ahead and pray? Anyway, you are just praying the Holy Spirit. Just praying the Holy Spirit. Just praying the Holy Spirit. Like rento sabrante que brante caras quisco prante hasca tishka pora dila. Bendo le reste pros que pele prante cali cora basanta li. Bora mana coche pele pora sila ponte que le dia. Prende tele brons que pronte le gira hascas. Se boro boro de bocoche de le bons que se boro bos. The Bolte Calabora Batate Lamante Caradus Beramanto Cabala Rabatan de Raba Itabaracataya 
Brante, 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 Ranga teke pronta kala barasko Eriko ponta li pronske pora botahaya In Jesus name we pray In Jesus name we pray We're going to pray from a scripture Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 Ezra chapter 8 verse 21 We're going to pray from that scripture And it's, it's about two or three layers of prayer together in one I love to always pray with this scripture Especially as this season of the year At this season of the year Ezra chapter 8 verse 21. Let's read together one to go. Then I proclaim a fast at the river Havana, that we may humble ourselves before the Lord. The next line, please. Note what he said, to seek from him the right way. That means if there's a right way, there's a left way. Oh Lord, show me my next move. Lord, show me my next step. Show me the right way when it comes to marriage. Lord, show me the right, enough, eh, somebody say enough of guesswork. Someone say enough of guesswork. Say, Lord, show me the right way. Lift up your voice. Let's go ahead and pray, everybody. Let's go ahead and pray, everybody. Let's go ahead and pray. Oh, kapate le bronte ke le zuske, li parante ke skupa le taniata, bat li konte skupate le pash ke polo mantaya, li posate ke ponta li basatea, when it comes to the work of the ministry, show me the right way. When it comes to marriage, show me the right way. When it comes to investment, show me the right way. In Jesus, we pray. My prayer for you is this You will not call wisdom foolishness Ahitophel gave counsel of wisdom They thought it was foolishness I pray for you when you are taking decision You will not call wisdom foolishness You will not call foolishness wisdom You will not call wisdom foolishness In the name of the Lord Jesus Receive the white right way in your business. I pray for the single people. You will not marry wrong. I pray for the single people. You will not marry wrong. I pray for the single people. You will not marry wrong. I pray for business people. You will not partner wrong. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Anyone on the wrong path receive alignment. I said receive alignment. I said receive alignment. I said receive alignment. I said receive alignment. In the name of Jesus. When you are taking key decision, you will not come under the spirit of error. When you are taking key decisions, you will not come under the spirit of error. In the name of Jesus. Oh wow. It says, to seek for him the right way for us, for our little ones and for our possession. Verse 22. Verse 22. Verse 22 is very instructive, but it has become one of the things I pray for myself the most. And this is verse 22. Let's read together one to go. To request of the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road. Why? Because we had spoken to the king saying... The hand of our Lord is upon all those for good who seek him. But his power and his wrath are against all those who forsake him. Did you get what he was saying? He said, the reason why I could not go back and ask the king for help, I bragged to the king that God will protect us. He said, how can I brag to the king that God will protect us and now go back and say, please, give us soldiers. It's a prayer pointer. My brag in God will become a reality. Hold on, let me tell you the prayer. Some of you have told the doctors that told you you have PCOS. You said, doctor, you will carry my baby. That's a brag. That's that brag in God will become a reality. 
Some of you, they've told you that if you don't use red soap to take your bath and black soap, you can't have a husband. And you told them, I will not bath with black soap. I will not bath with red soap. The God I serve will give me a husband. I said that black will become a reality. They've said, if you don't bow down, if you don't sleep with your cat, you will not get the funding. And you say, as the Lord leave it, the Lord will do it. I said, that brag will become a reality. You are going to pray, everybody. Everybody say, my father, my father. I declare that my brag in you will become reality. Open your mouth and pray, everybody. That my my brag in God it will become reality. That my brag in God will become reality. That my brag in God will become reality. Lift up your voice and pray. That my brag in God will become reality. Like Hoske Protenamanti, Embregetus Kapala Zusa, Empoleketoske Baladi, Entekela Bramto Kalaska. Ali shante kele dia, eteri ato karaska, e pratike sombo, si perete le mantea, e kele poshako lo parate, prante, prante, prante kura, e ruke suse prutene, e ria koriata pashato, e pelosisa, intake na mante. In Jesus' name we pray. Anywhere you have prayed a brag in the name of God, I said it will become a reality. This year you will not see shame. On your business you will not see shame. In your career you will not see shame. Everyone that's proud that they will come back with their baby. As you have declared to receive your baby now. Everyone that's proud they will come back with their marital settlement. I said receive your portion now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I stand upon the apostolic and the prophetic. I raise an altar of mercy with your name. Let the mercy of God be stirred up in your favor. In the name of Jesus, shout I receive it. Shout I receive it. Shout I receive it. Amen. Glory to God. Let me look at someone and say, your bragging God has become reality. God bless you, you can have your seat. Glory. Can I have the hand? Can I use, switch to the, this one? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Praise God. We would speak today about prayer and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Prayer and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. All of you watching online, anywhere you are, the power, the grace of God is touching you. There is this scripture in the book of Genesis and there's no Spirit did not write too much, but very comprehensive in what was detailed. Genesis chapter 32 in verse 22. And this was referring to the story of the man called Jacob. Jacob all his life had lived and helped himself, but it was time to return home. He knew it would be a problem. He knew from day one it to be a problem. Number one, leaving Laban was going to be a problem. Then number two, how will he confront Esau that he ran away from? So the Bible says he began to go home. And as he was going home, he heard that Esau, his brother, had come to meet him with 400 men. Of course, he understood that these were not 400 men. These were soldiers. He understood that Esau had come to kill him. He understood that. So he became very afraid. I wanted to say this now. He became very afraid. The Bible says this. 
And he rose up that night in verse 22 and took his two wives and his two women servants and his 11 sons and passed over the fort Jabok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them over all that he had. Verse 24. And Jacob was left alone. Great things don't happen when you are in a crowd. Great things happen when you are left alone. And many of you have not learned the discipline of staying away from the crowd. And learning to stay alone. Sometimes the biggest thing God will do in your life is when you are by yourself. Sometimes it's too noisy. It's not that God is not talking. It's just too noisy to hear what the Lord is saying. The Bible says and Jacob was left alone. And Jacob was left alone. And I'm saying so that because during this time of the conference, some of you need to learn how to be alone. How to be alone. How to just wake up in the night and you're just before the Lord. And you just say, Lord, I'm here alone. How to just, how to just come. Your friend will say, let's go together. And let me tell you something. Great eagles fly alone. They don't fly in companies. The Bible says that Jacob was left alone. This was one of the symbolic times when Jacob did not have people around him. He says, and Jacob was left alone. The Bible says, and, and Jacob was left alone. And Jacob was left alone. And all of a sudden, as he was left alone, you know, in a very metaphoric way, the Bible says, and they wrestled a man with him unto the breaking of the day. I love the way King James puts it. Because King just put it in the most literal way. He said a man wrestled with him. It was, it was like a fight. But there was something spectacular about this fight. The Bible says, and when the man saw that he prevailed not against him, he touched the hollow of his garment. And the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint. There is a time you spend with God and things fall out of joint. Because the altar is a place of adjustment. The altar is a place of adjustment. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Some of you think that prayer, prayer is a place of adjustment. The Bible says, as Jesus prayed, his countenance was altered. Any prayer that cannot change you can change nothing. The first changing place of prayer is you. As you persist in prayer, values are altered. As you persist in prayers, illumination is pertinent. As you persist in prayer, energy is developed. As you persist prayer, behaviors and habits are chopped and the reason why is that there's an offering, there's an altering by the spirit of God, he says as he prayed he says his countenance was altered and when you get to a place of prayer what did you drop and what did you pick up because it's called an altar, it's a place of dropping and picking and true men of prayer and let me tell you something if you have expressed depth in prayer, you will understand that the power of prayer is not what I'm praying about. Is that prayer changes me as a person. I don't know how many of you have prayed about something you are afraid of. And we let prayer and nothing had changed but your fear was gone. What happened? Because prayer became an altar where you dropped the fear. Because in the place of prayer, the mountain diminishes because the almightiness of God expands. Glory to God. I said glory to God. The Bible says, and the hollow of Jacob's tie was out of joint. Has he wrestled with this man? What manner of man is he wrestling with? Why was it that Jacob was concerned with going home and he saw a man that began to wrestle with him? I, I hope that you know that there are spiritual moments you must learn to stay in so that you can capture it. I'm telling you, I, I don't know how to explain this to you, but there are moments of the spirit you must learn to seize. And the reason why you, because you believe that there's something in that moment for you. The Bible says this, very powerful. And he said to the man, and the man said to him rather, he said, let me go for the day break it. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. And, and that statement changes the dynamics of who the man is. Because Jacob was already a blessed man. Then all of a sudden he's asking someone else to bless him. So the person he was saying to bless him was be after an ecclesiastical order. He says, I will not let thee go except thou bless me. <laughs> except thou bless me. 
And he said to him, what is thy name? And he said, Jacob. Then you will see the work of prayer. He says this. And he said, thy name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel. Why? Because as a prince, how did he become a prince when his father was not a king? Because in the place of prayer, status changed, sir. <laughs> how did he? Let me tell you something. You can come here barren, but by the time the anointing changes, touches you, all of a sudden you are fruitful because the place of prayer is a place of transformation. He says, he says, thy name shall no longer be called Joseph and um, Jacob. He said, thy name shall be called Israel. Why? He said, because as a prince, thou hast prevailed with God. He said, there's something that happened in the moment while we prayed. He said, that change your status and change your name. Some people here, your name is changing in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. I say, your name is what? Changing in the realm of the spirit. He says, as a prince. Thou hast power with God and prevailed. The challenge with most people is this. You are trying to make happen in the flesh what you have not built in the spirit. And you don't understand. Spiritual words are infrastructures for the flesh to ride on. Glory to God. Business people, listen to me. You don't belong to secret court. You don't belong to secret place. Which one will you do? Belong somewhere. Your friend belongs to secret court. You don't belong to secret court. There's secret place you don't belong to. The reason why is that the business world is backed up by spiritual influence. Somebody say hallelujah. 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 Five things that happens when we become prayerless. Five things that happen when we become prayerless. Number one, we lose spiritual sensitivity. All of a sudden, we lose spiritual sensitivity. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 19. We lose spiritual sensitivity. See what the Bible says. It says, who is blind but my servant? Or deaf as my messenger that I've sent? Who is blind that he that is perfect and blind as the Lord's servant? The Lord is showing you, so you know the thing, when people say, I can't hear the Lord again, most of the time their prayer life is gone. And the reason why is that when your prayer life is gone, you begin to just become less sensitive. You just become like, and the Lord is saying a lot. The Lord is showing you a lot, but you cannot see, but you cannot hear. Oh, glory to God. I don't know if you read this in your Bible, but if a good example, the Bible says the voice of God came from heaven. I said, this is my beloved son. Um, in one, not in one and one place. He said, this is my beloved son. Listen to him. The Bible says, and those around said a what? A thunder red. I don't know if you saw it. Some people heard the voice. Some other people said it thunder red. It's not because God is not speaking. Their spiritual senses were dull. So when you see a Christian that stopped praying, his senses will start going. No wonder Eli could hear what the Lord was saying. Eli could still interpret. He could no longer hear. He could interpret because interpretation depends on in what? On experience. But hearing depends on altar work. Eli had stopped altar work. Isn't it amazing that in that same temple, Opni, Phineas, Eli, they were all there. The only person that heard was Samuel because Samuel was the one that was sleeping by the lamp of the Lord. I know you are trying to, why is it taking you, you know sometimes you come across people have been praying about this matter for six months. Why is it taking you six months? Is God that wicked to wait for six months to talk to you? Maybe the reason why is that there's something that's gone wrong with your prayer life and now your spiritual hearing has been affected. Some of you have mobile phones here. And sometimes your phone will join those big network. What do you do? You, res- you turn it off and turn it off. You reset it. Some of you need a spiritual reset because your spiritual phone has gone off. You are no longer picking signal. Glory to God. The second thing that happens when we don't pray. So the first thing that happens when we don't pray is that we lose spiritual sensitivity. The second thing that happens is this. And Acts chapter 13, please. Acts chapter 13. Acts chapter 13. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Chapter 12. Verse 1. The Bible says, Now about this time, Herod the king 
stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Uh huh. That's what happens when you don't pray. There will be demonic harassment. The reason why is that when men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. I, I remember there was a time I was, and I want to show you something though. I was praying and I saw a vision. And when I saw a vision, I saw this woman spoke to me in the vision. And she told me that I'm going to attack one of our churches. She told me I'm going to attack this church. Ah. So I said, what kind of vision is this? So I called the church and their pastors. And I said, I want us to pray and fast and pray for three days. And we fasted and prayed for three days. And we left it. But after one year, almost one half of the leadership of that church had gone away. And the reason why is that God said, I showed you something, but you didn't respond adequately to you. He said, I thought we fasted and prayed. God told me that you didn't respond adequately to it. A lot of the things you thought are destined to happen can be altered by prayer if you are awake spiritually. I'm telling you. I, I was sharing the other day. I was sharing, I mean, this is about spiritual sensitivity. Um, couple of months ago, my wife got a house staff to help us in the house. And she was, the house staff were doing some tests. They were doing some tests, you know. They would just say, do this, do this, to see how they would do it. And I just walked in from, I think, from my office or from the church or something. And I saw it. And my wife just introduced that to me that this is Mr. This, you know, we're considering him helping us in the house for this. I said, that's fine. And as I just looked at him, I saw it. I just told my wife, can I see you? I said, do you know that man is demon-possessed? Why say, what did you see? I said, it's all over him. I said, it doesn't mean they can't walk here. We just have to determine if we want to walk with a demon-possessed person or not. The reason why is that I can walk with a demon-possessed person because he cannot touch me. Because I can also, I can also deactivate demonic influence. Oh, yes. He said, whatever you shall bind on it shall be bound in heaven. Not that your, your, your 12-year-old year, maid will now confess that she possessed you, that you're madam, that is speaking to you. Now you're say, ah, my mother, I didn't know you like this. What nonsense, what nonsense, what nonsense. If she says she's going to meet in letter, you just say, I will hang you there. I will separate your spirit and your body. They will not join together again. Uh, do you think we speak in tongues for nothing? Praise God. I, I, and I told my wife, I said, whatever you want to do is okay. Either you want to keep him, you want him to go, you know, because it depends. He, he himself might be looking for so, someone to offload the demon to. Because some people are demon possessed and are looking for someone to help them. Praise God. And that spiritual illumination. One time, you know, my, my child, they had something to do in school. And I went to school with my child. I, I, I normally don't go for all of the activity, but this time I went. And I went, you know, and I sat down. And I saw one of my children's friend, a lady, a girl, a young girl. She was playing. And I just sat back. And I could see demons playing with her. It was in, like, you know when they, what, you know how you follow your children to school? I saw demons playing with her. Hey. So I came back home. So I asked my wife. I said, there's this girl I saw in the school. I described her. I said, what do you know about her? My wife said, oh, she's in this class. I know the mom and this and this and this. Then I just kept quiet because I didn't want to cause trouble. I just kept quiet. Then in the evening, my wife said, what did you ask about that girl? What did you notice? I said, I saw that she was under satanic influence. And my wife said, no wonder. He said, the school she is in now is her fourth school. He said, because every school she does, she causes trouble. I said, that's the work of the evil spirit. That's what the devil does. I'm only saying this because, you know, when, when a Christian is not impressed that a prophet told you your name, I'm wondering what's wrong with you. Shouldn't that be your, shouldn't that be your heritage as a Christian? How, see, that's the thing. Your prayerlessness has made you as blind as a bat. You can't see. You love the girl, but the girl is even possessed. You can't see that this girl that I like, he said, and he said, don't like her. I said, I must like her. Don't like her. I must like her. The business plan that you have chosen, anybody that does business with him end up in loss. But you cannot see it because your spiritual eyes are gone. But as you pray, Kalaman, Toramanska, the eye of your spirit are enlightened. That's what happens as you pray. That's what the Holy Ghost has come to do. We can see into the dimensions of the supernatural. 
Lift up your hands and pray in tongues, everybody. I, I can't even hear you pray in tongues. Lift up your hands and pray in tongues. Raga take a suste le bedia. Planto can name brusque lembrento caha. Silemanto que le bruce le bregedia. Paliga ronte querendo ascapontiala. Seligoro te que rescupash te shons de pros. Exti conche pronte que le rani a los justo bradia. Econ robosonto lo robataya. Lekemene cota mana. Amen. Let me give you a prayer point to pray. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. So that you can start seeing well. Someone say, I want to see well. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. I'll just come there quickly. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 12. Let's go. Yeah. Let's read what to go. Then said the Lord unto me. That was what? Uh-huh. He said, that was well seen. You, it's to see well. In the name of Jesus, begin to see well. He said, thou hast well seen. It's possible to see and not see well. The man said, I see men as trees. But Jeremiah said, the Lord told Jeremiah, he said, thou hast seen well. Praise God. I said, praise God. Let's go back to Acts chapter 12. That was where we were before we went, we went to sensitivity. Acts chapter 12. Hallelujah. One of our members was telling me today, big testimony, big testimony. He said, Pastor, thank you for teaching me all the things you teach me. He said, you will not believe it. This practical, because, I mean, phenomenal testimony. He said, when dollar fell to 1,060, led to buy 30 million dollars he said it went back to one six i sold it and returned the loan says do you know what that means in terms of profit sensitivity because some of you think that it's only for pastors in business you are sharp Praise God. You want to marry someone, but you know you will soon die. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. He said, he said ah, Pastor, I felt, you know, but I felt as if it would be short-lived. They didn't get married. The guy married somebody else. Three years after, the guy died. And the Spirit of God said, I told you to be short-lived. I didn't tell you you would die, but this one will be short-lived. And let me tell you, although we pray, not everything is changing by prayer. Some things are destined to happen. That was why, and then it because some of you that pray say we can bend it. There are some things you can't bend, and that's why some things what God does is to warn you so you don't get involved. Watch this now. God told Joseph to take the child and run away from Herod. He didn't say to pray against Herod attacking the child. That means the attack will come, but running is your safety. <laughs> Glory to God. I said glory to God. So watch this now. Now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. I, I believe that this is one of the work of Satan. Harassment. Harassment. How do you know? The Bible says, and he killed James. And that's the thing. He arrested James and killed James. Why did he kill James? The brethren just felt as if, ah, 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 James, James, James is close to Jesus. James will die like that. Just like that. Herod killed him. <laughs> Hey! The say, yay! Yay! Just like that. James died. And guess what? When he went for James, the next thing, he went for Peter. You know what I'm telling you? If the devil takes one business, you don't resist him, you will take another one. Because the purpose of the devil is to steal, to kill and destroy. So the first step is to steal. If there's no resistance, then he kills. If there's no resistance, then he destroys. He will take 10 church members. Then after those that are quiet, he will take some more. He saw the church. Anywhere there's no resistance, Satan persists. Anywhere there's no resistance, Satan persists. Small, 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 small. They say it's a small lump. They say that's okay, it's a small lump. She is not cancerous. It has started. You keep on tolerating it. This is a small lump. And they just say, it's just a breathing condition. It has started. I know, I, you know, some years ago, I just began to notice my eyes were, they called me funny. I said, no. 
I said no. I said no. I said no. I said there's anything wrong with using glasses. Don't, don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. But we all have things we want to deal with personally. And we all have how the Lord deals with us. There are a lot of fantastic people that use glasses and there's nothing wrong. So don't, don't use that to judge somebody else or else the message will be out of context. Some people, I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, the Bible says he took out, he took out James. And I'm saying so because some of you, if you're not careful, something is gone right now. Something is gone right now. And you're just watching. Whatever God wants, more will go if you keep it that way. Look at the next line. Hallelujah. The Bible says this, and because it pleased the Jews, oh wow, because he saw it pleased the Jews, it proceeded to take Peter also. Then were the days of the unleaving bread. Verse 4. And when he had apprehended Peter, he put him in deep in prison and delivered him to four countries of soldiers to keep him there, intending that after he started to bring him forth to the people, he was going to kill Peter also. Then what happened? What happened? Then Peter was kept in prison. But, but means this was what the church did not do before. When James was arrested, the brother was still playing tente. They were still holding meeting. But when Peter was arrested, he said, but the church, ha, everybody in the church went into prayer mode. Ha, he said, but the church, he said, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto the Lord for him. He said, prayer was made without ceasing of the Lord. Someone is kidnapped. Prayer is made without ceasing. Someone is willing for a contract. Prayer is made without ceasing. Morning prayer, afternoon prayer, night prayer, prayer is made without ceasing. It's not the kind of prayer you may say, um, um, uh, uh, uh. Honey, just give me Milo. You know, that's not the kind of prayer. That's not the kind of prayer. <laughs> you know, you know, say, <laughs> first relationship, got broken. The other one you engaged left you. You say, okay. He said, because I don't package well. Let me package well. Maybe if I wear short skirt and show my boobs, maybe they'll say, you are not serious. Hallelujah. I say, Hallelujah. All of a sudden, the contract, they just say, they say, uh, they say the contract, if I proved it, oh, but the MD recalled it. He said, recalled it. I know what to do. Rabbi, yeah. you tap your wife. Huh? <laughs> you tap your wife. You take the document, put it here. Ah, the walls of Jericho fell down flat. Hey, the walls of Jericho fell down flat. As the children of God, Praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho. We don't need to know his name. If we have his name, it's okay. The doctor said you can't have a child. You take the report, you put it here. They say his PCOS, his blood fallopian tube. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. The walls of Jericho fell down flat. As you begin to pray like that, you see, there are some songs you used to enter. I'm going to get there. There are some songs that, that takes you there. You know, the, there are songs that. Oh, wow. I'm jumping ahead of my message. When you want to fellowship with the Lord and just communion, you just say, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice. And it's great. It brings another kind of, you know, fellowship. But there are sometimes you need something done. Huh. Uh, who can battle with my God? Hey. Who can battle with my God? Who can the, the musicians are not helping me? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? You look at that report of cancer. Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? As you are singing it, you let holy hunger start rising. Holy hunger will start rising. Holy hunger will start rising. Holy hunger will start rising. Are you ready? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? I said no one. Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? I say, I say nobody. I say nobody. I say nobody. I say nobody. Hold on. I want to I want to teach you how to pray. 
You know, many of you just go, rah, 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 rah. you say, oh God, oh God. No need to cry. The power is inside. He says, tear up the gift of God. That's what he said. He says, tear up the, you use the song to tear up the gift of God. Oh my God. As you're singing, we play it once more. The anointing will start rising. Don't stop. He will start rising. Who can battle with my God? Who can battle with my God? Who can? You will start hearing yourself. Bakoboya is coming. Likoboya is coming. At the level Koboye is coming. At the point you just go, Raka, okay, Shaleboye. The anointing is there. At that moment, the anointing is there. Praise God. When the anointing is dead like that, you will stretch out your hands and say, In the name of the Lord Jesus, just like Moses parted the Red Sea, every evil report I have. Every council of Aitovel, I part them. Every pieces of Maria, I part them. Every pieces in a, I part them. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Santo Kabaya. There are three women here. For three of you, you have been trying to have a child for over three years. Listen to me if you receive it right now. By this time, next year conference, you are coming with the baby. Asalemanagadahiya. Let us shant take a love rose palatea, ribon catemon shandahala, and post setaya. I said, Receive it in the name of Jesus. The lady that's been bleeding for over two weeks, right now, the power of God is healing you anywhere you are. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. You may have your seat. He said, and Peter therefore was kept in prison. Notice something. That's why, be careful who your friends are. Have friends that can pray. So that when you can't pray, they can lift you in prayer. He said, Peter himself was in prison. He was depressed. He couldn't pray. But his friends were praying. He said, and deep, Peter was kept in prison. You know, one, one time we had a testimony in church. One brother, again, it's along this route actually. You know, one brother boarded a bus and was meant to go into Bagada and they spread something at Yanowuro and everybody stepped off. When he opened his eyes, they just passed Fidation Camp. They passed Fidation Camp. He said, when he woke up, he said, where are we? Someone just brought out a matchet. He said, the matchet was sharp. He said, if you shout, I will separate your head from your body. He said, he kept quiet. But he was hearing my voice. He said, my voice said, the power of God is in you. Don't let them keep you quiet. He said, I said, so hear my voice. He said, I began to speak in tongues. He said, I spoke in tongues. I became bolder. Then it became louder. Then it became louder. Then it became louder. And they said, shut up, shut up. He said, I couldn't stop again. He said, all of a sudden. I said, shut up, shut up. He said, I couldn't stop. I was just going raka ba 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 lipo robo ye rapate hura mana bronte hira ba kura ba shada hina ka. He said, as we drove some more, the tire at the back just exploded. Poor. He said, as it exploded, they got down trying to fix it. He said, a police vehicle just came and parked at our back, not too far. He said, all the kidnappers just ran into the bush. He said, guess what, Pastor? The police vehicle didn't even pack for them. They only parked from afar for like two minutes and they drove off. He said, when the kidnappers took her, he said, I got down. I ran and ran and ran and ran. He said, I ran for hours and walked until I got to the camp. That's where I found someone that gave me a telephone to call and I called my family. Praise God. Listen, Brothers and sisters, you must know, you know, you know, Pastor Me might teach in a funny way. You know, Pastor Bimbo might teach calmly. I can teach in a funny way. But these things we're telling you are divine realities. You, you know, you, because the simplicity in which we used to present it can confuse you. Just like I said that there are three women here. If they will receive it, they will come back. It's a grace. It's a grace that I come with. It's a grace. Praise God. 
I said, praise God. I said, praise God. Oh, glory to God. The anointing of God is here. You can sense it, right? Watch the next thing. The Bible says, and when they had apprehended him, they put him in prison. And sorry, uh, we're in verse 5. The Bible says, and Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without seasoning of the church. There's a, there's a part I want to really read to you. Wow, verse 11. The, the whole thing has a testimony of verse 11. Verse 11. <laughs> and when Peter was come to himself, he said, now I know of a shorty that the Lord has sent his angel and had delivered me, watch this, out of the hands of what? Herod. And from what? Did you notice the demonic expectation? He said, he said, sometimes spiritual warfare is the expectation of evil. I want you to notice spiritual warfare. He said, he has delivered me from Herod and the expectation. The expectation is that you will not do well. The expectation that you will come and beg for the money. The expectation that you will not get married. The expectation is that you things will not work well. He said, because of prayer, you will be delivered from the expectation of evil. I prophesy to someone today. Every negative expectation on you, the Lord has delivered you from them right now. Oh, glory to God. I said, 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 glory to God. The third thing prayer, prayerlessness does is this. When you are prayerless, the Bible says when the Holy Spirit comes, he will guide into all truths. When you are prayerless, you have limited illumination. And, and, and this will lead me to how to cultivate a powerful prayer life. I, I, I want to show you how to cultivate a powerful prayer life. But when you're prayerless, you will have limited revelation, illumination. When you read the Bible, it will not, it will not come alive. Because the letter kill it, but the spirits give it life. Limited illumination. You just can't see. You just can't see. Everybody's shouting in church at the scripture. You're wondering why they're shouting. You can't see it. And the reason why is that the spirit power is not in the word. Oh, glory to God. Let me explain that to you. <laughs> when the spirit of prayer is upon you, watch this. You'll be praying. Maybe you're praying about, give me something to pray about, sir. Pastor, tell me something to pray about. Anything. What? Wisdom. So I'm praying, Lord, I'm trying to raise 500 million for my business. I'm praying for wisdom. I'm praying for wisdom. This is how the spirit of prayer works. I want to teach you how it works because some of you, this thing works with you, but because you are not thought, you don't know what is working. And because you don't know what is working, you cannot amplify it. So when you begin to pray like that, you just come to a point, you just, you just, as you begin to pray like that, you will notice what scripture will just come up. Christ is the wisdom of God. I have the wisdom of God. Christ is made unto me the wisdom of God. Christ, in that moment, the spirit of God has quickened the scripture to you. I'm telling you, in that moment, what has happened that the spirit has quickened wisdom to you. Illumination. All of a sudden, you just, you, you don't, listen to me. You, you don't know why you start saying things like, I come the wisdom of God. Christ is made up the wisdom of God. And at that moment, it's so real. But that realness is the work of the Holy Ghost. And that's why I talk about the work of the Holy Ghost in prayer. In prayer, the Holy Ghost has brought you illumination. You hear Bishop says, I read it until I said, I can never be broke again. That word, I can never be broke, was the illumination of the Spirit at the moment. And that illumination comes. From nowhere, you will just find the scripture floating out. I don't know why you're just saying it. Christ has made unto me the wisdom of God. Christ has made unto me the wisdom of God. Oh, glory to God. Christ has made unto me the wisdom of God. I have the wisdom of God. I have the wisdom. Yeah, one day, why am I saying this? You never know why I'm saying it. Sometimes you never know what the scripture is. But the Holy Ghost knew when you read it and brought it back to your remembrance. How many of you have experienced this before? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about. 
Praise God. So how do you become more prayerful? Luke chapter 18 verse 1. The Bible says, the disciples of Jesus came to him and they said, teach us to pray. Chapter 11 verse 1, not 18. See what it says. And it came to pass as he was praying in a certain place when he had ceased. One of the disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray. Meaning that praying is a teachable skill. Like cooking. He said, teach us to pray. Meaning, praying is what? A teachable skill. Like driving. So when you say, I don't know how to pray, it's because you have chosen to learn not to pray. When you say, I'm not a prayer person, it's because you have chosen to learn not to pray. Peter, James, and John that became apostles of prayer. There was a time in their life they did not know how to pray. And they went to meet Jesus Christ and they said, teach us to pray. So there was a time Peter, James, John, Andrew, they were students in the school of prayer. So the first step in cultivating a prayer life is the decision to become a student in the field of prayer. And prayer is learned by precepts and by teaching. I say by teaching. For you to pray effectively, you learn it by teaching, by hearing teachings of prayer. But, not, but if you hear too much teachings of prayer, you can know the theory and not the practical. So you must learn by precept, by joining yourself to that pray. Because prayer is a spirit that can be contagious. Prayer can be contacted by people that pray. I knew those that released prayer on me. Oh yes, one of their names is Peter. When I was age 12, Peter was 15. I was 12, he was 15. Peter would pray six hours in a day. We were in the secondary school. Six hours. He would wake up at four and pray to seven. We will close school at two. He will go and pray from 2.30 to four. Then we'll finish prep at 9.30. He will pray 9.30 to 11.30. That was his not one time. I, lead, I stayed with him until that thing jumped on me. By the time I was 14, I could confidently pray three hours. Yeah. Conveniently pray three hours. My assistant is here. Almost every day of my life, I wake up 2.30 a.m. to pray. Including today. Yeah. So, it's not about, oh my God, he's wearing jeans and wearing trainers. The power is not in the look. The power is in the it's in the spirit. You see this massive work done in global impact. Don't you think that it takes spiritual power? You think Pastor will just come and be smiling and smiling and smiling? No. Pastor will just come and smile. No. Because prayer is private investment that yields public results. What is prayer? Prayer is a response to spiritual summons. When a spirit wants to do something, he summons you. Your response is prayer. So when God wants to do something, there's a summon. That summon, your response to divine summon is prayer. Glory to God. So when spirits want to do something, they will do summons. When God wants to do something, it's a spirit, it will summon. The way you respond to the sum of the spirit is through prayer. So how do you learn how to pray? The first thing is this. Choosing to become a student of prayer. Not giving excuses. Choosing to become a student of prayer. And the second thing is a strong desire. It's a strong... See, desire, desire attracts spirits. It's a strong desire. It's a strong desire. Praise God. Pastor, can I come, can I climb down? Is it okay? Great. Let me just take my notebook. Praise God. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Amen. Strong desire. I'm almost done. 
So how do you learn to pray? Becoming a student of prayer. The second is a strong desire. But this is not the practical. How do you practically learn how to pray? I want to teach you. If you don't, be like, if you don't feel like praying, look for scriptures that stay you up to pray. You stay you up to pray. Are there scriptures like that? Sure. 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 It depends on what you're praying about. When you read a scripture, like whose report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. He's the hand of the Lord too short to save. He's dead no more bam in Gilead. He said, why are my people still sick? There are some scriptures that they provoke you. Do, do you have those scriptures? They, they, are, they are provocative scriptures. Look at the one I read to you right now. When we say praying. Let me show you one scripture. Judges chapter 5 verse 20. Oh, glory to God. I say, Bolon, take a higher. Judges chapter 5 verse 20. Are you ready? Read on the screen, sir. Are you hearing me? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You are going for the interview. They say you don't get it. He said they fought from heaven. <laughs> are you hearing this? <laughs> someone, someone, is that the Bible? Is there? Read this again. Read again. He said what? Uh-huh. He said, as Isa was fighting Sicilia physically, that angelic force was fighting from heaven. My copa latai. Before you go for the interview, you read the scripture. Why won't you pray? They fought from heaven. Ah, I get back, you know. Hey, glory. Ooh. See, let, <laughs> see, you pray too much in a hurry. Just take the scripture. Leave and they fought from heaven. They fought from heaven. <laughs> Be imagining them. Angel Gabriel, Michael, Cherubim, Seraphims, and they fought from heaven. As you're reading it, <laughs> my core of a Santa, and they, you're going for the American visa interview, and they fought from heaven. You're going for the immigration status, and they fought from heaven. You're going for the interview, and they fought from heaven. Before the NPC boss, and they fought from heaven. Oh, glory to God. And, and they fought from heaven. You, you know, as you start reading it, you, you will get up like this, and, and they fought from heaven. Who by Yakataya? And they fought from heaven. If God be for us, who can be against us? And they fought from heaven. Glory to God. And they fought from heaven. Praise God. See, as you're saying that, what happens? The spirit of prayer will begin to brood over you. There's a brooding. 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 You you need so scriptures. You need so scriptures. You need so scriptures. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? The book of Jeremiah. Have you read that before? He said, I'm the God. He said, I'm 40. I'm not married. He said, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? When you read that kind of scripture, oh my God. I know the doctor said it's impossible. The lawyer said, I can't help you, but he's a God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for him? He's the God of all flesh. The doctors are not the God of all flesh. The lawyer, he's not the God of all flesh. The physician, he's not the God of all flesh. But he is the God of all flesh and he's asking me, is there anything too hard for me? Oh, glory to God. As you begin to say that, what happens? The spirit of prayer will start rising. When well, you don't feel like praying, you must have you must have this kind of scriptures. You, you, not even scriptures. There are messages like this, messages from Pastor Emi. This kind of message. It will be on YouTube. Go back and watch it. Go back and watch it. When you watch it, you know. Listen, what happened when you watch it? Be, before we finish the message, you start vibrating. You start going, ooh, 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 ooh. The reason why is that you are contacting something. Your, your legs will start, all of a sudden your legs, I mean, you feel you are sitting but your legs start moving. Your legs start moving because the anointing start traveling all over your body. He start traveling there. Oh my God, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. The first thing, use the scriptures. And I'll tell you the other one. 
And when the scriptures, you've used it, but you don't get the results you want, then use. I mean, there are many methods to help you. Use songs. Use songs. Use songs. The reason why is that songs captures your emotions. And glorify your name. I and glorify your name. Ah, oh, my God. Glory. What's happening? Your emotions are captured. And I cannot call on your name. And end up in shame. No way. No way. I cannot bow before you. And bow before men. No way. No way. I cannot call on your name and end all the shame. No way. No way. I cannot. I Can I give you just two minutes to pray? Go ahead and pray, everybody. Go ahead and pray. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. Unto thee that answer prayers shall all flesh come. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over her. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. As you pray, let the Holy Ghost take over. Liga prante coros que pate la bronca taya. Liga prante que es cobronte haya. Libos que pate le bronte. Liga paronte que es cobrogotua. Iba sate cabalatia. Bante caratija. Libon se pronte haya. Scabrante corata haya. Libas que pota. Liberante ca. Rate cos capada. Libon chate. A bruta coramante. Liboro conte bronca paha. Ante que chote. Liga pota paria. Una manta po. Raboteca. Iba tea. Liga po. Iga po. Sensuba. Sensepeye. Ete que bosha. Ora bata. Eboro. E pronta, e cata, orate, e recatu, e pate, porata, pante, 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 porabaha, a shaliga porabasatura bahaya, libo robo corabasante le bahaya. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Glory to God. Oh, such an anointing. Such an anointing. Such an anointing in this place. Such a divine presence of the Holy Spirit. 
See what it says. He said, I know thy works. And I've said before thee. What? He says, and no man can what? I want to declare prophetic blessings on you. In your finances, let us open for you. In your career, let us open for you. In your business, let us open for you. Let us open for you. Let us open for you locally and internationally. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. We read Acts chapter 12, but we didn't read some part of it. The Bible says this. As Peter approached the gate, the Bible says the gate opened of his own accord. That's what the Bible says. Act of the top. You can't even put it there. The Bible says, and the gate opened of his own accord. Every gate you've been trying to open, as you return today, they will open of their own accord. See what the Bible says. Act of the top has said, and when they were past the first and second word, they came onto the iron gate that leads to the city. The gate that what leads to the city, marketplace, which opened to them of their own accord. Every gate you have been, what does gates mean? Gate means access. Because it's through one door. You move from, when you, gate means access. It's when you enter someone's gate, you've entered their space. Gate means transition. You move from city room, you move from road to a house, transition. It means access transition. I said in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, all the gates you've been trying to get into, let them open of their own accords. Financial gates open. Marital gates open. Medical gates open. Immigration gates open. In the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 16 verse 9. And this, this is why you need to be full of the word as you pray. You don't have to be looking, looking, looking. When you're full of it, it's just be flying out of you. Pa, 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 pa. Let's read. For a great and effectual door is open unto me. Hold on. Give me the message translation. Do you have the message translation? Is it possible to give it to me? Okay. Oh, wow. If you don't have the message, the passion translation, any of the two of them. Okay. Message lump it together. I'll, I'll look for it. Let me look for it here. Yeah. It says, it says, I'm staying right here in Ephesus. A huge door of opportunity for good work has opened up here. So when he says the door open, it's a door of opportunity. That's what I'm going to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a door of what? Opportunity. Can I bless you? Where it matters, you will matter. Before whom it matters, you will matter. Your case will matter when it matters. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Walk into doors of opportunity. Back to King James. Back to King James. Back to King James. Back to King James. There's just one thing. It said, for a great and effectual door is open unto me. But there are many adversaries. You are going to declare Wow. Glory to God. Every satanic blockage, it must give way. Hallelujah. It says, whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Every satanic blockage must give way. Go ahead and declare everyone. By the power of the blood of Jesus. By the 
power in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic blockage affecting anyone here, whatever is making your testimony difficult, whatever is making your testimony complicated, making your health complicated, making your marriage complicated, making your appointment complicated, making your business complicated, making your promotion complicated, in the name of the Lord Jesus, give way now. 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 In the name of Jesus, shout I receive it. Thank you, Lord. The rest of this year will be filled with the Lord's doing. Yeah. Psalm 118, verse 23. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our sight. The rest of this year will be filled with the Lord's doing. Yeah. What does that mean? In your family, will be a testimony. God did it. At work, God did it. The rest of this year will be filled with testimonies of the Lord's doing. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to close with a final prayer. Everyone is sick in your body. It's time for your freedom. Praise God. Yeah. It's my calling from heaven. Praise God. You know, when I met Pastor Mill about 20 years ago, one of the first things he heard was that I pray for the sick. That's one of the first things. So this is not, oh, three or four years. This is over 20 years ago. I've been praying for the sick. And I've seen all manners of miracles. From dead, come back to life. Cancer, cured, deaf ears, open. Wheelchairs, emptied. In thousands that I can't keep pace off. My assistant was telling me, he said, I knew there were testimonies. He said, but I didn't know it used to come in this number. And I'm only saying this to help to build your faith as I pray. In conjunction with the anointing on this house. Pastor Yemi and Pastor Bimbo's heart is that you will receive the blessing. And that's why in cooperation with the grace here, there will be an adoption. Listen to me. As we pray right now, either it's a lump you are online, you are on site, the power of God will touch you like thunder. Yeah. And whatever sickness it is, it will be gone. Yeah. Put your hands anywhere the sickness is. Just put your hands there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, it is. Thank you, Jesus. 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 All of you in the viewing centers, put your hands anywhere the sickness is. And right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you spirit of sickness and infirmity, every hearing problem, every seeing problem, every lungs problem, every heart problem, every barrenness problem, every productive system, every lump in the breast, every fibroid, every ovarian seed, every PCOS, every autism, every cerebral palsy, brain damage, people in the hospital, your spirit of infirmity, I take authority over you right now. I said right now, I said come on everybody in the name of Jesus. I said come on everybody in the name of Jesus. Right now be healed. Right now be healed. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Be healed. The lady that has a lump in your breast, the lump is gone. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that shoulder problem you have is healed. That chest problem you have is gone. That problem in your spine is healed. 
that object that walk around your head is gone in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I command their churches to go in the name of the Lord Jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet be healed in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus this is all you have to do this is all you have to do whatever you could not do before do it several times Sing it as well. Whatever, not no, that listen, this is not close eyes. The miracles are here. Yeah, whatever you could not do, do it seven times. If you could not bend, go ahead and bend. If you could not stretch, go ahead and stretch. Do it seven times. I wanted to sing that song as we say, You are the Lord that He let me. Yeah, whatever you could not do, do it seven times. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. All of you, the other centers, go ahead and do it. If you could not hear, go and hear. Yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Whatever you could not do before, do it seven Help that lady. Help that lady. Help that lady. Help that lady, help that lady. Help that lady over there. Whatever you could not do before, do it several times. You are Whatever you could not do before, do it several times. Do it several times. Amen. As a testimony to God's power, if you checked your body, you were healed. Lift your body right anywhere. You were healed. You saw it. You felt it. No, no, no. Not that you, not that you are believing God, though. You felt it in your body that something happened. The pain is happening. Wave your hands. Let me see. Look at that. Look at this number. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all these people. Look at this sea of people. Oh, Jesus is my in the viewing center online. All of you that were healed online, put it in the comment section. Put it there. Look at all this sea of people. All the people healed by the power of God. Somebody say hallelujah.